This is HP DL360 Gen 9 server. It has a dual processor. I already removed one of the processor from the server. Today we'll be replacing both the processor with the two new identical processors. Let's start with uh, removing the case. So here is the notch uh, which uh, is used to remove the upper part of the case. So you just uh, pull it like this and then the case opens. The first thing that you see uh, within the case, if you remove the cover, is a whole lot of uh, you know the instructions on uh, what are the parts inside and uh, the markings uh, to indicate like you know um, how the RAM uh, can be placed within these uh, slots. It has uh, four channels, so it's, everything is clearly described here, uh, which is very handy. Like uh, you know, so you don't have to open any document uh, when you are doing a maintenance of these uh, servers. Uh, you quickly refer these uh, instructions here. Uh, which is which I feel uh, very much uh, handy um, so you can clearly see that uh, it has uh, two processors uh, this is uh, one and uh, two uh, I do not know which one I removed uh, previously so we will remove it and see uh, which one is empty and I do have a couple of Intel uh, Xeon uh, new processors so we will uh, we will uh, kind of uh, place them uh, and then uh, you know um, close with these uh, heat sinks. Let me start by removing these uh, heat sinks. These are uh, two um, Xeon uh, 2658 uh, V3 processors. So I have replaced uh, the one that was there uh, already uh, with these uh, processors. And you can see that uh, I need to close this one first and then uh, the second uh, to close this. Of course, while opening it, it's, it's the reverse. You open this first and then uh, you open that. So now uh, we have replaced uh, both these uh, processors uh, with the uh, new type of processors. So I will uh, clean the heat sink. Uh, when I removed the heat sink from here, it was um, with the old uh, paste. So the cooling paste. So I will remove the, or at least I will clean the heat sink, and then I'll, I'll come back. Uh, let's apply some uh, cooling paste. Now let's place the heat sink on top of it and uh, 
fix the heat sink. Okay, now uh, we have replaced uh, both the uh, processes. Uh, so maybe very soon I will uh, um, make a video um, after booting this uh, server and see if uh, they work fine. Thank you so much uh, for watching the video.